Hey guys, so I bought this book off Amazon. This is called The One by Mark Ballinger, How to Know and Trust God's Sovereign Plan for Your Future Marriage. If you are wanting to get married one day, if you are in your singleness or if you are in a season of stillness because you're like dating is just trash, like the men are just trash, the women are just trash, like this whole thing is just trash. If you're in a season of stillness, I encourage you to get this book and apply these principles to your dating life because they are taken from scripture, applied in this book, and then you apply them to your life. And this has really helped change my perspective on why it's important to pray for your future spouse if that is what God has for you. We're going to just go over a couple of things that I pulled out from this book that I think are extremely important because I personally believe and I've seen the power of prayer and God wants us to pray. God, God wants us to walk in this relationship with him. It's the same thing if you have a friend, right? If you talk to your friend on the phone and you get to know them, you're going to understand their voice. You're going to hear their voice. You're going to recognize their voice. Even if you were in a, a gym full of people that was really loud because you are familiar with their tone. Like I would be able to pick my friend's voice out in a huge crowd if, if like they were yelling my name or if she was yelling my name because I know her voice or if my sister was or whatever, whoever the person because you know them and it's the same thing with God. Whenever you start to spend time with him, you will start to hear what he tells you to do. And this is extremely beneficial because guess what? This will save you time in relationships, in friendships, with finances, with different jobs, with different decisions. So that's one thing that I just wanted to get out of the way. So one of the things that you can start praying for for your future husband is for their heart to be strengthened for the pain that they've ever experienced and gone through to be turned into purpose. Because pain is so powerful whenever it's transitioned into purpose. So you can pray that over their life. Um, you can ask God to put a, um, you can ask God to break their heart for what breaks his heart. That's a really powerful one, right? It's like, break my heart for what breaks your heart. That means soften my heart to the things that like, I should see as evil, like soften my heart to the things where my mind should change, that it's really not right and like there's like a moral issue going on. I had this realization with abortion recently. I used to be pro-choice and like I'm more pro-life now, kind of pro-choice in the fact that like you have a choice to have sex or not to have sex, like let's keep it real. That's a whole different video um, and we will get into that, trust me. So one of the other points that you can do is you can... Pray for their purposes and for their dreams and their desires. You can pray for, like when I pray, I ask God to um, awaken those dreams that he's put inside of their hearts, awaken those visions that he's placed inside of their hearts and help them be motivated to go after those things so that they can feel like they have purpose, so that they feel like they have, um, you know, that calling on their life. For God to ignite a passion in their heart to get closer with God, for their relationship to flourish, for their relationship to get deeper and thrive, um, to protect them from the counterfeits. So just like counterfeit bags exist, <laughs> all my designer ladies, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, there's counterfeit bags that, it, that exist. I believe there's counterfeit partners that exist. I believe there's counterfeit partners that exist that take you off the road. They derail you and they get you distracted. And it's almost like they take like pieces of your mind and, and, and energy in weird ways. And we gotta pray against the counterfeits because you don't have time for him to be meeting the counterfeits. That's like this like thing that I've been in lately. I'm like, I feel like I'm meeting the counterfeits. Like I'm done with the counterfeits. So pray for the counterfeits to not, for him to not be tempted by the counterfeits. That's a good one. I love that one. Um, another one is to pray for his family. To pray for his family that his family is healing. Everyone's gone through crap in their life. To pray for that healing to be turned into purpose again. Um, those are kind of some of the bullet points that I touch on. And I don't know if God has a marriage for you. I don't know if I'm gonna ever be married. I'm in a season of singleness right now and I keep on getting ghosted and it's so freaking annoying. Um, but if you do have that desire in your heart, most of the time God will bring someone into your life, but you need to have patience and you need to believe. Faith is very, very important to believe it so that you can receive it right? It's like you kind of manifest different things in different ways and thoughts are very powerful. That's what God says life and death is in the power of the tongue because you kind of like form this reality with your thoughts and the way that you think and if you believe it you should be able to receive it. 